welcome back to the CKC Garage and hopefully you've been enjoying the Fireball Camaro videos. We're taking a break from that thing because I keep breaking parts. We've got to do some re-engineering. So today we are talking about the newest project, the one of most importance is Project Black Sheep. It started out as a C7 Power Wheels Brain Corvette and about three years ago I was going to attempt to do like a five part series on building a Power Wheels drag car. Well, unfortunately, my son's racing career took priority and I just basically stopped doing YouTube videos for quite a while. So we are back in it. This build right here is actually for Mel Robinson down there in Central Ohio's Power Wheels Racing and his daughter she's a beast and we decided to sponsor them and build them a car so this video is going to be pretty short i'm just going to go over basically what we've done and our opinion of what a power wheels drag car should be this is we're making it super simple we're following four main criterias of upgrading so obviously the tires they need to have grip the wiring system needs to get ripped out. Motors need to be upgraded and the battery, we need more juice. So I guess we'll just start with the wiring. So this is the entire wiring harness from the battery to the shifter to the motors. Just ripped it out because it used to have this six volt battery. So um, in its place, we've got this, this is like a black box. It's. These are from John Metric over at uh, Lone Star Performance EV. He builds electric racing cars and he sent us these packs. So it comes in the box and it's mounted underneath the seat here. So it's we're using XT90 connectors and that's what's supplying power to the new wiring. So you can see we upgraded the wiring system. We made it a lot simpler. This is 10 gauge wire and everything is either crimped um, with Anderson power poles or soldered. So out of the battery, it actually goes, let's just take the seat right out, into this kill switch. So this is a master shutoff if there's any problems, if there's a runaway. So, um, Actually, let's get into that. So the reason you want to redo the wiring is so out of the battery, it goes into the shifter, right? This shifter switch is weak. It's not made for putting all these amps. So out of the shifter switch, it goes into the foot pedal, which is this guy right here. And I can guarantee you that it will happen eventually is these will weld shut. So when you press the button, the uh, arcing will weld this shut. It's happened twice to us, unsafe. So if you got a runaway vehicle, this right here, all she has to do, the driver, is press that and it kills power. It cuts current from the battery to the rest of the system. So once it goes in and out of the uh, master disconnect, it goes into what we are calling a uh, bump box. So as you can see, there's a button here on the steering wheel, right? So what this does is she presses the gas pedal and that closes that wiring system up to this. And then when the light turns green, bam, she pushes this. This is a lot faster than your foot having to go down, right? A lot easier, simpler. So that activates the coil in this um, 100 amp relay. And that is pretty much the wiring. I'm not gonna get into details because um, this is just an overview. So wiring system, fully upgraded. So let's talk about motors. So stock motors are 550 series. They're 16,000 RPMs and we've replaced them with these full ball bearing, ball bearings in both ends of the armature, uh, Vexpro 775s. And I did look, cause we're down to our last four and it looks like they might be hard to find. So we do like to have you guys um, 
follow these builds and replicate them. So we're gonna be testing um, Traxxas 775s. Um, I think these are the Andy Marks. Um, so we're gonna be doing a lot of testing with our driver up here. We've got a little girl that's gonna be doing um, some testing for us. And how we're going to document that is the same thing we use in our drag racing is these miniature um, GPS's, GNSS is what they call them. So it'll t say uh, like um, G-forces and times. So they race 60 foot, so we'll have to put that into our phone, our app in our phone, and we're gonna do tons of videos on that. So we will have some hard evidence of what these numbers are. And I don't know if we saw those, but we left the gearboxes pretty much stock other than uh, we added bearings in here to support the axle and a bearing on the first gear because that's going to spin the fastest, right? So what happens is it spins so fast that heat builds up and it melts. And this is kind of what happens right here. See how that's all melted? There's tons of slop. So you got to um, machine that out, put bearings in there, and we will do a video on that. So um, gearboxes and motors upgraded. We'll be doing some testing. And I had people message me and say, oh, you just need metal gears. There's ML toys. Well, it's not really the solution. It's a first gear, okay? It does add the bearing, right? Gets rid of that whole issue. But a couple issues is you got, you have to use hardened steel pinions. See what happens when you try to do that on a stock pinion? It eats it up. And the other problem is it just transfers the weak link to the next gear. See how that has no teeth on it? A lot of good that metal gear did, right? So um, that will be addressed and tested out fully. So the next system we focused on was tires. So Power Wheels Corvette, there was a ton of them produced and sold. Unfortunately, the good people at Fisher Price decided to discontinue the tires. You can no longer find these. So, um, what we did is to enhance the gear ratio, we put Mustang Power Wheels tires on it. You can see how much taller they are. This is the same thing right here, right next to it. So. It does fit, but it took some manipulating. You guys can see we had to grind out right here for the clearance because it's so much of a taller tire. We're gonna call it a big tire, right? It's tall. So per revolution of the motor and the gearbox, it's gonna go further, right? Top, more, more speed. So I will do a video on uh, modifying the Corvette to Mustang tires, because you're gonna need, obviously Mustang wheels, you're gonna need regular Power Wheels, um, this is a hub adapter or a driver, um, because this is the one that comes in the Mustang, you won't need that, and you can't use the one from the Mustang, because, well, actually, oh my gosh, I just learned something today, guys, huh. holy crap, you can use that, I never knew that, interesting. So, I don't know if we're gonna use that. I, I like the way that that mounts. Oh, yeah, 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 forgot. You actually have to uh, grind out a couple spots. So yeah, as far as you will need Mustang tires, and I guess you can use the driver from the Corvette, but we use these and we just notched it out. And to add the traction, just like we did on the old Fireball Camaro there, you guys saw this thing launch hard enough that it destroys gearboxes. And we've got a video, I'm gonna put the link up above right here. This is our mod of adding Harbor Freight cheap foam matting to the outside of the tire with polyurethane glue and we clamp it and let it dry for a couple days. And it's great because it actually makes the diameter of the tire bigger for more top speed. And it's cheap, good traction, quiet, won't wear the tires. Uh, it's great. So tires, 
taken care of. Just got to get a couple of tubes of um, caulk, polyurethane, glue, caulk, whatever you want to call it. And the last thing we're focusing on on this build is looks. We're all about the scale realism, right? So <clears throat> this is stocked the way it is. We're going to paint a lot of the parts pink. Um, but we did add this Pro Mod rear wing, just 40 thousandths aluminum bent. And we're going to add a parachute here. I don't know if I'm going to do dual parachutes or a single. And one of the rules, it has to have a wheelie bar in the 24 volt class. So this is from a Razor brand scooter that uh, the gearbox was destroyed. So we mounted it up with real Heim's joints and bungs so that you can adjust the height. So we can adjust the launch and it even has a little mount here for the parachute if we do decide to um, make it operational like we have in the past on Project Nightmare that actually parachute works. Pull the lever right here. Dun, dun, dun. Pull that lever and parachute pops out. So I don't think we're gonna do that. You know, it's just more complicated things, but it's an appearance thing. So we'll probably add headlights, some tail lights, um, a weight reduction. We're gonna cut and drill holes everywhere we can to lighten this up. We've already taken out the grill. I don't know if we're gonna do a pro charger in there or twin turbos. I don't know, but um, that'll be in a future video of the appearance. It's almost, literally, as soon as we get the glue on the tires, we can have our driver over here. If it wasn't crappy outside, because this is February, and we literally just had a nice storm. So, um, but I did want to update you guys on what's going on in the shop. Some Power Wheel stuff is still happening, even though we are going more towards mini wedge building and repair and setup stuff. So I'm going to do some of those videos too. But um, stay tuned for Project Black Sheep and the videos that we're going to do um, to replicate the things we've done on it. But um, I don't know. You guys want to see a video segment on how it actually operates? Let me set up the tripod, get her down, and I'll show you guys the wheel speed on this thing and how the... Uh, pedal system works. Sound good? Stay tuned. All right, so here's a better view of the car off the work table. So what you can see in here is we're temporarily using a clamp, pressing down on the gas pedal. Battery's plugged in, and all she does is she's staged, right? Oh, and this does not have reverse and no brakes. Basically keeping it simple. So power comes in, and you close. You press the button and it closes the normally open contact and sends power. And right now we just uh, really lowered the wheelie bar so it's holding the tires off the ground. But um, she's gonna be a, a fun little toy and in the video I attempted to do three years ago, I was talking about picking the right model. Well, this isn't like the fastest. We have another model that we'd prefer, which is the um, Power Wheels Extreme Machine or Eliminator, because it's got giant tires already. And then you throw in these 23 tooth gearboxes, the thing's a beast. Um, but we wanted to do something that you guys could do and be competitive. And there's tons of these Corvettes out here. I literally just saw one on Marketplace for 60 bucks. And I think I have four or five of these black ones left in stock. Um, but this one's going down to Ohio. We're probably gonna drive down there to an event and unveil it to them and do some video of the actual race. Because it's actually, he's doing a good job promoting it. It's getting huge. So Mel, big shout out to you. Um, there's other people over here, up here in Michigan where we live, over on the other side of the state in Lapeer. They literally just had a thousand dollar cash prize. So it's getting like legit. So that's exciting that we're keeping these young kids interested in cars and tinkering and speed, right? Need speed.
So, um, that's pretty much it on this build, guys. The next video, this thing's gonna be a little bit crazy. Get the clean couple lips out. Fireball first test hit.